right, let's see. Warrior or Warlock with actual Warlock cards? Okay, this time we get Warlock cards and we can be competitive. That's, that's the hope. Queenie, since you asked so nicely, ew. Ew, don't show her my feet. Uh, probably Bunker over Scavenger, but what if we take Scavenger and build the greatest Murloc deck of all time? I just have a Warlock with two spawns and one Night Captain. That would be good. That would be better. I just don't like Bunker Sergeant. Alright, whatever. Maybe it's fine. Alright, I'll take the spawn, but I want the Cobalt. Just let it be known. I want it because it's fun. I actually really like Primordial Protector too. I think it's fun. Gear Grubber's really good, but let's take this card. Uh, Gorilla Bot's real nice. I like Cabal Outfitter too, but man, Gorilla Bot feels so broken if you're discovering a mothership or a Sneeds or whatever. I love this card. It says screams out where it well. I like that. Uh, Fart Bartender? Sure. I can trade him away if he doesn't work out for our deck. And I think I'll just take a Reef Walker over Rock Bottom. Could pull a one cost spell. That's kind of good. I love the one believer voting 10 to 12 for the last few decks. Hey, they sh they're gonna, you know, they're gonna make it big. <laughs> That's like a grunt. Dang, punished. All right, we'll take the Gorilla Bot. Uh, doubling him. We could take the two. I like this card, but we have no spells again. Uh, let's take a two. Oh, come on. We gotta go for curses. Do I take a Kaboom Bot so I can activate that? Probably not. Shopkeep's okay, but let's, let's just grab a one. Let's at least have the ability to curve out. Uh, Infestation's kind of funky. I don't always love that card. But I guess it's probably better than like a two, three. Sure. I hate it. I definitely don't want two of them. Okay, we'll take that. I guess I'm taking the Siphon. That's a good card to, to hit. I guess these are both good cards to hit. But we need to fix our curve. Oh man, I love Final Gasp. Anoyo's really good with the Gorilla Bot too, but that's about it. This card's just good, huh? Let's just take it. We could take a one or a three. I kind of like this three. I think it's fun. Let's take him. Uh, which three do we want here? Maybe a demon? Nether Breath is cool. We have two dragons. We need real twos though. <laughs> well, this card's cool. Come on, we'll take a spell. Uh, Soul Ren's very strong. Uh, I'm gonna take Librarian over Stockade. I just don't like it. We'll just skip turns one and two. It's fine. Uh, I actually think I'll just take a Soul Infusion. These just don't do anything. Another Gorilla Bot? Fook me. Alright. Uh, more Reef Walkers? Sure. More Trash? Sure. Uh, let's take a Trawler over a Brew, maybe? Yeah, why not? Uh, Bissell? The good news with this deck is we at least have some class cards. Um, this is not great. I guess I'll take Spring Rocket. Yeah, whatever. Spring Rocket's okay. Take Murloc Dumper, or we take a Storm Wind. Maybe we just take a Storm Wind, something to do after turn three. And I don't want that curse, and I don't want that Lion's Guard. Ay, ay, ay. Alright. Well, I think this one's capable of getting three, maybe. The yeah, last three decks, I don't think we're. Can we bring back buckets but well well done buckets? I don't uh I don't think asking for them to do things that require more work is it's smart. That's what got us in trouble in the first place. That's what got us in trouble in the first place. Asking and expecting Blizzard to do things capably. But I think if we if we get very lucky we might be able to pull off three or four wins with this one. I don't know. Maybe we're just cursed today. Dreads could take it to two. Yeah, we might not be able to. Well, well. We may not be able to do that with this one. 
This point brought up on the Lightforge podcast. It's like the more they try to better things, the worse they get. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's like a lot of what they do is sort of like a smoke screen to cover up for the fact that they fuck up so many other things, but they can be like, oh, well, we did, you know, we did this. Oh, well, that's why we're not doing anything. We already did this and it didn't work, but they just do like a terrible job at what they do. And so then it's like an excuse to not do things well or to not like approach things differently, I feel. Let's do all the smack talk you were talking about, telling Dredge we were winning. I told him I was winning with Priest. Because he didn't ever take Priest. We were winning with Priest. If I was lucky enough to get Priest here, we'd, be, uh, we'd have relevant decks, probably. Okay, maybe not, but... And also, most of my smack talking was before the haunt fix. In which they have just made everyone's decks really bad and more like 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 that's the thing like when you're low rolling decks after deck then your opponents are too which is like oh, okay well then you're playing with equivalently you know unpowerful decks or unfun decks or whatever but once you get to two or three or four wins then those are the decks that high roll the ones that are able to get above two or three so you like you still can't really like do well with your low roll decks that you do okay with. Um, Kiro Kiro, thank you for the follow. These adjustments ruin arena is what you're saying? I thought they were supposed to make it better. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? That guy just played a one mana 5-5 five, five weapon. <laughs> That's pretty strong. I would probably start whacking face. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe uh, maybe this guy knows a little better. So we could trade this guy. Maybe maybe he can't deal the other two damage to this. But this deck is more interesting than the last four combined or whatever three or four we did. Um, it's at least at least has class cards in it. I think we have more class cards in this deck than we had in the last three or four decks total. Ruins dead ahead. Has a lot of durability. Such failures. Yeah. That's not good for them. <laughs> Stand strong. These plays are uh, poorly done. I think that was the one I wanted the most. But I guess these ones could be maybe what I want the most. Am I on EU again? No, but I've got the EU leaderboard player number one leaderboard. Uh, number number uh, 17 leaderboard. He's jumped over here coming to NA. It's a like total EU play right there. Was Dai original intention Zumakin Arena class? <laughs> Drop in right and bring up bot three. I understood very little of that. <laughs> very little. I'd love to answer your question, but... On EU, they would aggressively emote you. <laughs> Every time we go over to EU, man, they're always emoting me. I emoted this guy, but... Yeah, it was kind of applicable. I said, fail you know, such failures. <laughs> Come on, Red, that's second grade English reading level. Is that English? Most of those words weren't English. Alright, so as long as our opponents misplay several turns and go second, we've got a shot to win a few games. I BM people if I win and squelch them before if I lose. Am I a bad person? No. Well, maybe. That is very bad German. I finished studying German, Redbeard. Sorry, it was the original intention to make the top three and the bottom three classes equalize? I think their intention is to get the class win rates closer. And while I don't wish to keep harping on it, I guess it's my job, so I have to comment on it. 
that never happens, their intention should be to make Arena more fun to play. And this notion that, like, things have to be balanced for it to be fun, but everybody plays with shit decks, I think is misguided. I don't think that that's close to what people are actually looking for. I think people think they want balance. Every meta you hear people say, like, oh, we need micro adjustments. We need them to bring these classes down. And every meta that they do do that, they just make unplayable shit. <laughs> so, we're, we, we are kind of getting what we ask for. But, nobody listens to Redbeard, so. As we've learned throughout history. Something new to You shouldn't play with shit, it's unsanitary, that's fair. You should not. Do we hit that one? Or do we hit this one? I mean, I could coin this out. That feels kind of bad. It does. Uh, I guess I could have hit that one and killed the other one. Let's just play this and keep our coin. One deck to have the tools for you to make meaningful plays that can compete. I feel like that's what exactly what we had before the hotfix. Most decks had tons of tools, and there was tons of back and forth, and both players were doing powerful things, but both players were doing powerful things. And now we drafted four decks today, and I wouldn't say that we drafted one deck that I would expect to go five wins. And as we've seen from literally the first three decks we drafted, by turn six we almost never had a single card in our hand. Like, not like, oh, you know, I'm running low on resources. We were out of cards in hand because our whole deck was just neutral 2-3s and 3-4s and it wasn't particularly engaging to play or watch or experience. But we did get our beloved nerfing of the fun classes. I'm a shit upon my average and I lose some of the worst players I've ever seen. I, uh, I don't care so much about the average. I would much rather just have decks that are fun, even if I'm losing more. But if you're losing more and you have no decisions to make and your decks aren't fun, then it's like, well, what's the point? Like, who's satisfied? Because bad players aren't going to be winning more. They're going to be losing the same amount doesn't change <laughs> this notion that like you have to warp the experience for like the the 12 people that are are like playing their first arena run today is is has always been strange to me i think you should have them play against each other with fun powerful decks and let them go one and three or two and three until they learn and then they can you know Everybody else can play with fun and powerful decks and play against each other. Um, okay, um... 3, 6, 10, 18. So I can put him to 1. Alright, what I want is the game to end as fast as possible. If he kills me or I kill him next turn, then that's preferable. <laughs> that's preferable for both parties. We could take some trades, but that could mean we have to play an extra turn or two of this deck. That's my opinion. I had a draft where I had a 1-1 Lumi Mech versus some useless 3-3 from Boomsday. Three times in the draft, next to each other. What class was it? Shaman, Rogue, or Paladin? Just bring Rocket to the face, that's my plan for next turn. I think Arena has a bigger learning curve, but that doesn't mean devs should tank it. Was Warlock funny enough? Oh, thank god. I just, we rolled, low rolled two Warlocks in a row. I was worried, uh, I was the only one low rolling the Warlocks. Spring Rocket to your own face. Even the top class gets like, fucked by variants. <laughs> Maybe we should all become constructed players. We can build our own shitty constructed decks and 
We never have to complain about card quality. Maybe. Maybe that's maybe that's the play. Tamsin versus Illidan. This ends now. Stormwind will tremble before Tamsin Rome. Should we even bother keeping that? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I have a lot of threes. Maybe not. Sanders so shit. Only boat. Row control warrior and foul demon hunter. Yeah, I mean it. It, it triculates. It uh, is that a word? It uh, infiltrates um, all the game modes. If you're just designing bad cards and you have a bad approach, like it'll affect everything in different ways and to different extents. But at its core, it is if you're designing bad cards or if you're not supporting things in a meaningful way, then eventually you'll just feel it across the board. I feel like Battlegrounds is pretty fart lately. Um, like Standard's pretty, like I've, I've never enjoyed Constructed. Um, in general, I think Arena has always been their best game mode. And what I've always mentioned was <laughs> they don't touch it much. When they, when they tinker with it more, it gets noticeably worse instantaneously, like over a day. <laughs> And you're like, oh, okay. Well, we, 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 we dodged the, the blizzard tinkering for a little bit. For a nice eight years or so, but... The, almost the only things they've ever done for, for um, Arena have been unenjoyable. Buckets. They fuck up dual class every year. These micro adjustments. I don't want any of this. Um... Maybe just a spark drill, just like bash something, maybe? Just kinda hoping for like a uh, mothership or a Goliath. I like the Sunken City set, me too. This rotation is ass because of DoD and the fact that they seem to love Colossals being more common than Epics. Other than that, I really enjoy the expansion. I think the expansion's great. I agree. I've drafted nothing but our stacks for two and a half weeks. <laughs> I had good decks up until the hot fixes. <laughs> some, at least some. Maybe not a ton, but I had some. <laughs> and yesterday, I mean, yesterday we had a lot of good decks. Today, today I think we've just we've hit like the bottom of the variance, probably equation where you roll four or five bad decks in a row. But like a player like myself or Dreads or Talriel or maybe Smellyhead, like you can you can. Low, you know, you can just retire five decks, or you can, you know, take them all to three and three and move on. But you know, somebody who's only got a hundred gold or hundred and fifty golds, like, well, this can't be can't be enjoyable. I could run that in. It's pretty bad. Um. The courage of man shall not fail. I don't know, it gives me a lot of minions for Stormwind. It could give me a good Abyssal, maybe. Two full turns. Minus 20 gold is Murloc on turn 5 with no hits, so suffer. I don't understand those words. Oh, Battlegrounds. Tier 5. I played a game today where I was a Galakrond and I got a Nomi. And trust me, it wasn't a terrible pick. Six drops were terrible. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. We're in on Nomi. It was like Nomi or, uh, you know, something shit. <laughs> something shit on five. And then I think I, I had 20 rolls with not an elemental. And that included using my hero power over like three turns. How about a then I stopped playing Battlegrounds forever. I retired today. I don't find it fun to get a broken deck that shits on everyone. We've got worse decks, so retiring isn't very fun. They're just decks that are so puke that I value my time more than playing them out, yeah. Sometimes you gotta play. Sometimes you just gotta play. Insane variants? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Battlegrounds, Hearthstone. Uh, arena, there's always... There's always something to complain about. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> 
I'm down too. I don't understand nerfing every class to be neutral garbage. No one was complaining about that. Just buff the lower classes to have more class cards. Well, that would be less work for a better result, so... Naturally, we had to, uh... Not do that. No, that's not right. I mean, if it lives, it could be nice. I guess I don't really have a play for next turn. Like, I can't play two cards. So maybe trading the bartender this turn was better. It made too much sense. I hope this fits on the ship. I don't know. The older I get, the more I, I, you know, you see the same things over and over again. Regardless of it's Hearthstone or your job at Target or school or whatever, somebody dumber than you is making decisions, and they're very rarely like smart and well thought out. It's just. Someone else is making the decisions. They're telling you what to do, or they're making something. I mean, here it's like we could choose not to play it, right? But Behold the might of Stormwind. I can't exactly do that. I guess I could. Then I wouldn't have a streaming career. That captain is in theory in about 79% of decks now or something. I looked at Ben's premium HS replay stats. Gangplank around that too, maybe 10%. The older I get, the more I realize very few people know what they're talking about, whether it's is making position or not. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair too. And I think too, like the older you and I and everybody gets, the more platforms people have, like you couldn't hear Redbeard's stupid shit, you know, 20 years ago or 15 years or 10 years ago even, or even five years ago. Redbeard didn't really have a platform to spout out stupid nonsense. So I think that's fair. So it's like, you just get more and more people saying things. I think social media is an interesting phenomenon, but I don't think it's necessarily like great for for people. You know, it's fair, the county fair. I love the uh actually I never really liked the county fair. Everything's always expensive and everything's always kinda of boring. And the food is actually kind of shit. It's just like fried dough, but it's not even like good. It's just like a funnel cake. It's like oh, oh, the most overrated shit, man. It's like here, we got like some leftover dough. Let's put, let's fry it and put some powdered sugar on it. But powdered sugar isn't even, what, what is that? <laughs> why, why? Like you go to like a donut shop and get a donut, which is far cheaper and way better. And also something I wouldn't go out of my way to go buy a god dang donut. Did you get past a certain age, county fair really sucks. Yeah, it's like a place for kids, I feel like. But even as a kid, it was like, oh, what? We're going to go stand in the sun all day and wait in lines to go on, like, a slide that's got blood on it? <laughs> like, I don't know about that. I don't necessarily want that, Mom. Please don't make me go down the blood slide. You just reminded me I had a donut from earlier. Hell yeah, dude. Forbidden donuts are the best. Dang it. I thought it would really help us if you just didn't play. It would really increase our odds of, of uh, winning this. Um... One of the best meme memories for me, yeah? I don't have a ton of good memories. We would go to the little carnival or county fair or whatever a whole you know my brother my sister my mom and i my dad i don't remember anybody ever having a good time <laughs> i find this when i'm trying to ask people who should know how things work how things work and no one knows even if it's their job 
would imagine too, like a, like a big, um, like if you work for a big corporation, there's probably a lot of moving parts. So it's hard. It's like, well, why are things the way they are? It's like, well, you know, I do this, but you know, John from Accounting, he doesn't do this. He's like, I told them they need to do this, but they don't listen. And oh, and then there's, you know, then HR is doing this. You just have so many people with their hands kind of, their fingers on the button. If I do this, two, two, I can go one. Two, one, three. So I could leave that up. I could double trade it, I guess. I'll keep that. I should probably think about some plays some of the time. Sorry, Squishy. I'm Two is company. Oh, you know what I should do? I should play Bunker. We should have shot that one. Zog, zog. So now we keep our Bunker. I guess we have a better minion on board. Hmm. Yeah, bunker. Bunker is better, but this is good too. It's nice to have a four one that spawns another four one over a two four. I think, but it would have just been a little smoother. The best was going into the UFO and flipping upside down. It was so fun. Oh, I hated that. I never. I don't think I even ever went on that. Cause you'd be like, okay, you'd be waiting in line. It's like, oh yeah, I want to go on the UFO, and then you'd come out, and everybody'd be like, whoa, and people throwing up on the side of the thing. It was like somebody's job at the county fair to just mop up puke all over the place, man. Like, come on, why do I want to go there? <laughs> I worked at a large company during my undergrad. I had so many times where I was like, should we not change that? And they were like, just yeah, maybe, but it's not our job. No one knows whose job it is, so we just let it be. <laughs> I respect it. I'm gonna get something cool, right? Bet he wishes he had that. Good morning, Redbeard. Hey, Bee Bart. Redbeard, you're such a little bee. I don't want to go on with the zipper. Yeah, I'm not riding the zipper. I was. I remember one time. I was watching. I was waiting in line to go on the zipper, and it's like the thing that spins, and then the things spin while it's spinning. And one of them broke off and went flying, and I was like, oh man, that's gonna, you know, those those people are gonna, when they crash, they're gonna die, and it just kept spinning. The momentum was so much, I think it broke the Earth's gravitational pull. I think they actually ended up just in space. Their corpses are orbiting the, uh, the, the Earth as we speak. The Earth Mother was busy. Zipper was my favorite. All right, you and uh, Junior can go to the fair together, oh reminisce and eat funnel cakes and <laughs> ride the blood slide, okay? <laughs> Ski lift at night, the best. So many pretty lights. When I was a kid, I thought all grown-ups just had this perfect system in place, but the world is just a huge mess. <laughs> I think I'm a tooth chipper. <laughs> that did not happen. <laughs> I'm telling you, it happened. Oh man, the tooth chipper. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I think the world could be a lot worse. I think that like... And that doesn't mean we shouldn't strive to get better. I think things run surprisingly well for, you know, if you look back even, you know, a hundred years ago or 200 years ago, like, people were just dying when they were having babies. I mean, people still did, but like, you know, like, disease was life expectancy. Like, the world is, I, I think, overall a better place for a lot of people. And it surprises me that I have internet and that I can turn on my faucet and get water whenever I want and that no one's, you know, I don't know. Then we've been to the moon, I don't know. It's like some, that stuff kind of amazes me that humans have been able to do things and things that run as smooth as they do. But they certainly, as a kid, yeah, I always remembered thinking like your parents knew everything and could solve any problem. And like no, knowing now my parents and myself, like, oh, nobody can solve any problems. No way, we create many more problems. I remember a great time at the fair with my dad. It was late and it was closed and we got to ride the bumper cars for free. Then I got a cherry, our motto ice cream and a fancy cone. I remember that night 25 years later. I'm not trying to shit on your guys' memories of the fair. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys remember them quite fondly. I do. I 
don't remember any fond memories from the fair. I had fond memories of, you know, being with my family as a kid. <laughs> it's the blood slide of euphemism. No. No. Growing up is not fun. Being a kid, I like, you know what, it's when you're a kid, everybody tells you, you know, you don't want to be an adult. And, you, and when you're a kid, you just want to get older. And you really just don't know until you become an adult. And you're like, wow, this is so much worse. This is so much worse. And if you go before, back far enough, you know, my job was basically to wake up, poop my pants, and play Super Mario Bros. 3. That was, that was what was expected of me. God damn, I was, I, I did that job well. Were tons of people in ancient Greek that lived into their 90s? Uh, yeah, I, I would actually think that there, maybe that's true. I mean, people live long, some people. It's not your job now, would you play Hearthstone? Yeah, but Mario 3 is way better than Hearthstone. <laughs> I guess I should become a Mario 3 streamer. <laughs> And with more pooping, well, I, I do, I do, you know, man-sized poops these days, of course. You know, I'd be a little disappointed in myself if, uh, you know, I'm still releasing little pebbles or whatever. Yeah, of course. Of course, Tall. I remember stopping a carny from- oh, no. Yeah, okay, that's not good. Well, I'm glad you stopped that. Played this Peachy's game flawlessly. Did you win or did you lose? Uh, I need to kill his guy, but I can't. I have any fours? I have one four job. It actually would have been pretty good this turn, though. Silence. Please add that to the quotes. Replace Mario Kart with Hearthstone. It's pretty much the same thing. All right, who wants to come over? I'm taking tomorrow off. I'm playing Mario Kart in my underwear. I'm taking applications. Let's get a pizza. Let's get a big. Let's get. Let's order pizzas. Ten pizzas. Everybody come over, and we're just gonna play Mario Kart. You guys can wear pants. I'll be in my underwear. Please stream it. No, taking the night off. Taking the night off. Blitz is in. Registon's busy. Dear God, me. Uh, what is that? It's gonna counter my minion? It's gonna counter my spell. Dude, that card is so backbreaking right now because I can't- I, There's nothing I can do about this card. Remember when Keck W tried to convince me that it sucked yesterday? Predictable. I guess I could tap first, but what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what, what? What is a boy to do? Fly me out, I'm over my job. What, what, where are you working these days? And what's so bad over there? Let's see, what do I take? What's so bad over there? Am I actually good at Mario Kart? No. I mean, I'd whoop most of you guys, of course, but... You know, I couldn't go pro. Too bad you didn't have a dormant. <laughs> yeah, too bad I didn't have a gangplank. Too see. bad. Alright, will I ever be alive here? Can I ever be alive? Could play the taunt. And the three. Or I could just play the soul rend and I will only take three. Feels kind of bad. Should I even tap? I have so many flipping cards here. I guess I should tap. Counter minion future mechanic, has it been a thing? This is the first card that does this, other than like... I mean, there's some secrets that sort of operate similarly, but that's like the first one that just makes it so it wasn't played. Like it doesn't trigger battle cries or anything. I had two of them in my rogue deck and they did nothing in three games. Which card? This thing? Mm. Oh, that's not good. 
That could be better. <laughs> that could be better. I have so many good cards. Somehow. Maybe not that good, though. Talk about video games or how good are we at smashing our bros? My answer <laughs> differs greatly. I mean, this is our, our best bet. I'm not sure if that's enough. But... Eight, nine, ten. No, we're still dead. If you filter our childhood deaths, people in ancient Greece and many other historical periods live longer than we assume and expect. I think that's true, yeah. Childbirth. Imagine not having an audience with the king. If I need an audience with the king. So what I need to do is pull out a nose hair. Where's my uh... Ah. Oh my god, that one just fell out. <laughs> Good lord, I'm molting. That might have been somebody else's nose hair for all I know. I don't think it was even attached to me. I will be playing Bureau Kart tomorrow night at my brother's. He even ordered a new joystick and gears and refurbished the 64 controllers again. Wow. Thompson versus he looks smart in the maroon and navy colors. They're my school uniform colors. Wow, I would like to see you in your school girl outfit or a uniform. As an adult. Um, also, check this out, Taz. I don't know if you remember this one. This is the uh, iconic Bovine University uh, <laughs> Bovine U alumni t-shirt. Also, it pinches at the neck too, I always remember that. I, I went to go do laundry today. I'm like nine days past laundry day. If I do this, I can play a 5-5 next turn, but he's gonna dagger my guy anyway. I'd like to get the buff. I went to the laundry room and all and, and the machines were all in use and I was like I can come back but then there's gonna be people moving them to the dryer and I don't want to interact with anybody. Never Waited till Mondays because I was like, oh, people are gonna do it on the weekend. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna talk to people or talk to them. Is that you on the front? Yeah. <laughs> Refugee Geek uh, made this or something and then sent it to me. It's like nine sizes too small. If I had stood up any more, like most of my mid drift is just showing. So. I don't know. I, like, I don't want to go. Want to talk to anybody over there? Should I just play it? Yeah, maybe. Oh, it's a five five, right? Feel that, man. People are disappointing these days. I don't know. I just, I, like I don't mind talking to people. I, in fact, my job is to talk to all of you guys. I enjoy that. But like. Going into the laundry rooms, it's always like, oh, like mm, people are always like bitching, not to me, but people are like the laundry room, it just like sets people off, man. Like a communal laundry room. People are just bitching about like machines and they're fighting. Every time I go in there, it's like people are like, oh, you moved my stuff. Not to me, I'm always like observing this. Like, oh, you moved my stuff. Oh, how man, oh, I'm, I'm, I just came back. It's like, just shut up and everybody just shut up. Just put your clothes in the washing machine and shut up. <laughs> Mandrift part, yeah, yeah. I hope this fits on the ship. I'm like, I'm turning into a cartoon character over here. My fat streamer belly just spills out of my too small shirt. Like the ninth little rascal over here. People would often have sex in my school laundry rooms. Why wouldn't they just use the dormitory? Why, why do it in a nasty space? With some nasty folks. Laundry day is like Christmas Eve. That's the real fun. It's folding day. <laughs> I don't mind folding. I don't 
my problem is I I waited so long. I, like I I do like one humongous load. I, I've just got such a load now. It's like a double load, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna take forever to fold it all. Let's just do laundry more frequently and fold smaller amounts. What did he get here? Wait, I have ten mana too. He got this one, or which one did he get? Which card did he get? This one? I'm a little confused. Needless to say, I'm a little confused. Wait, I can't play that in that. Zug, zug. <laughs> You got the taunt, I'm pretty sure. Not sure if they did. We'll see. Let's ride. You wear literally everything you own until you get down to the stuff you meant to throw away, and you never and you wear that. And only way in your danger of having to go to Walmart naked. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting close. I'm approaching this uh, iconic status. Let's wreak some havoc. Good draw. I don't have to play. You know. I have to play this. Grimer! <laughs> What's up, Pierce? How are you, man? I was thinking about you. I think about you a lot. I don't know why I've been so enamored by um, Priest over the years. I mean, um, Pierce. Hearthstone on the brain. I have more mechs, I have another gorilla bot. Me too, I think about you a lot, me. The courage of man shall not fail. You got the wrong guy, pal. Okay, Stormy Poo is pretty good. Let's hope they don't draw anything good. Here shows up and really makes Red laugh. <laughs> he called me Grimer. <laughs> Grimer? That's a good insult. Not a lot of people calling people Grimer these days. Yeah, Pierce is, he's funny, dude. How are you, Mr. Pierce? How's life? How's your wife? <laughs> my my parents are still moving. Oh man, it sounds like such a stressful thing. My sister called me. She's all freaking out. I'm I'm just like I'm trying to you know, keep her calm. And she's like, oh, you know, my mom's friend. He's like, he's been helping her move. Um, you know, my parents move and been picking up you know boxes and whatnot. And it's, they, they've got to be out of their house tomorrow at noon. And my sister's like, yeah, there's like <laughs> everything still in their house. <laughs> And uh, my my mom texted this guy like, "Hey, so what time are you coming over?" <laughs> and he's like a 55 year old man, you know. Like, and they, I don't know, man. They don't they never struck me as like the best of friends. <laughs> and uh, he's like, my sister's telling me, he's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm like, you know, sleeping in. It's like noon. <laughs> Yeah, like I'll meet you over there. And they're like, okay, so they, like waited for him for like three hours, and he just never showed up. Oh man, I would. Um, I would not help many people move. <laughs> I would not. My right armpit stinks so bad that I'm trying not to look to the right. Oh man, my left armpit usually stinks the worst. This is my my mouse hand. Are you left-handed, Pierce, by any chance? 
This is my gaming hand, so it aerates a little better. This is my like crooked vulture wing. So <laughs> this one like pulls the stink. And then after the stream, this is where you want to avoid. Right handed, hmm, interesting. You might have a different setup though. I don't know, I think it has, to, like it, maybe if you're using the mouse like all pinched this way and you're kind of like leaning that way, then crooked vulture wing <laughs> is foul. Uh, I need to shower. This is why I like Pierce though, he's very relatable. Hey, thank you so much, Kripali. Also, shame on you for whatever you said to me. You should shower with Poet. It would be, um, it would be more practical. It would, it would maybe help uh, in some ways to preserve water. But frankly, I'd rather all the water in the world be depleted and blasted in outer space than have to shower with Poet. All right, final shower with him. <laughs> Mama Millie, I have not showered in a week. Pierce doesn't do that showering thing. He's a streamer, through and through. George is speaking real Italian. It's not right. Um, Sorry, squishy. I'm working. Is that better, maybe? Yeah, maybe not. Good players feel the struggle too. Everybody feels the struggle sometimes. One way to save water, I have heard, is to just not wash your legs and hope the water that drips down from the rest of the cleaning does the work. <laughs> Dreads is disgusting. Dreads is disgusting. I hung out with Dreads a few times, and he definitely had a smell about him of someone that doesn't wash their legs. I know that sounds kind of like a crock of shit, but I, I really, that's the truth. I'll do this, but then I can't get anything else down. I don't like it. I guess you know what I could have done? I could have done this and this one. The Hunter weapon is so broken, it feels terrible to play against. Yeah, I'm trying to just hit him in the face so he can't just keep whacking everything. Considering I shave my legs, I kind of have to wash them first. Uh, and that hair that gets shaved is pooled and collected and dried and sent where after for processing? Just asking for a friend. That can be purchased from which local organization? I um I didn't buy any Pokemon cards today, so I have an extra forty dollars. Only fans. You know what would be good? Ooh, that could be good. Um, oh, that's kind of bad though, huh? Five three. All right, we'll just kill it. And I discarded the outfit. And that's that's a paddling. Sell the clippings. Of all the P.I. produce, you want my shave leg hair? <laughs> I don't want any of it. That's, I'm just curious what you do with it. Me, I mean, I, I collect the, the baggies for the, uh... Hmm. How bad is that for me? Wait, is that just a... Oh. It's a Maddest Bomber or something? What is that card? Um... Do I have more... AoE? I have a soul rand. I don't really want a soul rand, dude. Doesn't feel like a good use of that card, though, no? I guess they don't want to take six. It's like, oh, I get an infestation. That's kind of nice, maybe. Oh, yeah, that could be great. But I guess he'll run into... He'll run into, um... Stuff. What'd you say you produce, like, you're a pea cow on a pea farm? A cow on a pea farm. Hmm. Why would they need to? Um, why would they need to harvest urine? Give me your best shot. 
just go face. Don't do that. Or that. Alright, alright. Abyssal's pretty good, but let's do this. Let's wreak some havoc! The top shelf Wait, it's bad to have a pee farm? I think if you don't take a shower and shave that, it makes it more expensive. Oh yeah, for the leg hair? Probably, yeah. That's probably true. He hits one, he hits the other. That sucks. Didn't he play Presser? How does he still have gigantic... What? How, what, what why is that card buff? This economy? Yeah. <laughs> Is this Queenie's new shtick in this economy? <laughs> uh, that doesn't feel good for me. That feels even worse for me. Okay. Well, that's this. Gotta say, I do hate that. Could play this. Just siphon one. I'll take two, or I can bump one, shoot one, play that, and discard something. I'm not getting any younger. Not entirely sure if that is better. I don't think it is. Do you have an audience with the king? I guess I can hit it so that I can shoot it next turn. I think I want to keep the soul rend here. I don't want to tap and then keep the soul rend. I might want like a librarian or something. Only have nine cards. Well, Which manager have to deck with no legendaries in a single epic? I guess I just got lucky. Hello, fart breath and chat. Hey, Donnie, how are you, buddy? Okay, well, we beat a Prester that high rolled, and that's good. With a Bloodseeker and some other crap. Spawn of Deathwing is a better version of a Legendary, that's true. God, that's such a flavor fail that if you were offered the two together that you would definitely take Spawn of Deathwing over regular Deathwing. God, it's so dumb. Why is it half the cost and twice as powerful? Versus Queen Ashara. Oh no, I went so low with the prediction. The deck's got a pretty shit curve and a couple away. of broken cards. So I could see bad and low. Row. If you don't hit like your nut cards, you're just not, we're not gonna win with spring rockets and treasure guards. We're gonna have to hit like those premium cards, which is what we've been doing. Been getting pretty lucky in that regard. Quite arousing when you discuss cards. <laughs> and we need, as a community, collectively, more money to get this production off the ground. The Queenie Taz. I don't know. It's gotta film some interactions between the two of them. I know what it feels like when guys get nervous and pretty girls hit on them. It's not a great feeling all the time. Usually squirt our ketchup inadvertently, it just goes flying. <laughs> Drop all of our Pokemon cards. It sounds kinky. It does, doesn't it? It's a little bit of, a little bit of sex appeal there. That's where the gorilla. I only get nervous when Queenie is drinking. What's that you're saying, Llama? I hope this fits on the what you talking about, Llama?
three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's try and type FF and TFT. Ha ha. What's FF? Um, let's trade and then play this. Let's see what he rolls. Maybe we play that. Huh. That doesn't seem good for me. Seems like a... One of those high rolls where half of his death rattle from his 5-drop kills my 5-drop. <laughs> well, that's not good. Taking my shot. I do that, I lose them both. Up my deck that drafted before the adjustment, someone is going to uninstall Hearthstone. Cue into me with it, and then I can uninstall Hearthstone. Want it? I got it. Uh, how much mana does he have? Does he have enough to ping our guy? No. Well, that's a mistake, I think. The courage of man shall not fail. Okay. He can't have been correct. Hey Rand, I'm all out of ketchup. Do you have any spare? I actually don't keep ketchup in the house. Is this a euphemism? <laughs> this one of them euphemisms that Queenie and that other guy we're talking about? Oh, I shouldn't have played that first. Good. I just don't want to miss the damage. We could have. I sat on my kitty by accident, the poor little dude. That's not good. That's not good. I'm always watching like, uh, not always, but sometimes I'll go on YouTube shorts or Alez got me on these like uh, compilations of like TikToks or something on YouTube. People falling down and stuff. Sometimes like cats are like falling off of beds and stuff. Man, these guys are resilient, man. I don't want them falling down, but they seem to be okay. It's great and I don't have any lights on and I didn't see him. Redbeard, if you can spell euphemism, I will give you a surprise. Okay, uh, let me try. Uh, like, type it out or spell it. Uh, E-U-P-H-E-M-I-S-M. -S let me type it out real quick and see if that's right. Hey, six mana four fours. You know, I noticed something. And what I noticed is I keep rolling six mana four fours from this every time. Are you ready for your surprise? Yeah, I am. What is it gonna be? A uh, uh, bunch of numbers counting down. Um, a request for what's that um, thing you like? Breakfast burrito. <laughs> Song request. I don't know if it's gonna be a great one for me. But it's okay. Don't show your BB. Don't show it to me. Not again, please. I don't have my reading glasses on. Come on, dude. Enough of this board clear bull crap. Right there. It's gonna play this, I think. Just kinda bad. All terrible guesses. Um, you're gonna post a picture of your dog in the Discord, maybe? As a reward? You aren't wrong, they are resilient. No one wants them to fall. Some people do. Not many people though, right? People love little, cute little kitties. I think. That's fine. Wait. I left up a 6-6. Six, six. It's kind of okay for me, no? How do I get a little more damage? I'd really love to kill him and get six wins or whatever. Seven wins? The top shelf That's probably the best one to discard. These are all kind of useful, right? Hey Redbeard, what's up Jack? Much love from Australia. 
Does anybody watch the stream and they're not from Australia? Look, like we got a lot of Australian viewers. <laughs> it's wonderful. Vatican City here. I saw that earlier. You don't live in Vatican City, do you? I'm from Sydney only because that's my mom's name. Yuck. USA, Los Angeles. Where in LA are you from? Inside voices, please. Sweden here. Konkopet is from Sweden? I'm from Canada. Turkey over here. Poland, man. I'm from Germany. Watching you every morning. <laughs> hey, it's great to have you guys here. I'm never going to do these holy spells. These ones just never happen. Alright, 65 we could do. Bulgaria. I had a friend. He was Bulgarian. And he was amongst the most attractive men I've ever known in my life. Like, just like... Somebody I actually knew, not like a movie star I've seen. And he was like the least interesting dude ever. He had no social skills at all. He was very nice, but he was really like, he was really annoying because he just had no social skills at all. You'd be like, hey man, like, what's up? And he'd kind of like sit there and stare at you blankly and then be like, the sky <laughs> and, yeah, or the ceiling. But it would be like this long delay. And that was like one of his like best jokes. And I, I always be like... <laughs> like this is... This is a... Uh, this is an unpleasant conversation. And uh... But, but every, every girl that I knew, that knew him, was just crazy. I mean, he was so attractive. And he would... He had, he had no, no capabilities of like... I don't know, like approaching any women or acting upon it, and we would talk sometimes and be like, he would tell me stories, and he thought like this was like a normal life. I was like, oh, hey, how's it going, man? You know, I worked with him. I went to school with him, and I worked with him. We actually played basketball at the park sometimes. Like, we went to the same park, he would show up, and uh, he's like, oh, yeah, I went to the bank. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, you know, I, I donated $500 in pennies, like, I'll run rolls or something. Like, oh, that's great. And then, like, he's like, yeah, the, the gal at the, the she just, she wrote her number, and on like on all my money on like all the rolls and gave it to me like what do you think I should do? I was like I don't know she probably wants to have sex with you quite badly and you should probably take that phone number and call her and ask her out on a date. It's like oh really? Oh and I'm over here like I feel I always feel like I had to work a lot harder to get a gal interested in me. I was like a train wreck. He was uh he had very sharp chiseled features and he had like perfect skin and a shaved head and like crystal blue eyes. <laughs> it was distracting. Can you get those out of my face? <laughs> Stop looking at me. Okay, I have a dog do brown eyes and body is rotund. And I smell bad. Is he single? I haven't talked to him in 10 years. Probably. How old am I now? 35? Probably 10 years. He's 35 and old and gross looking now, probably. <laughs> I'm just playing the odds here. Yeah. I'm not, you know, for anybody that is a little older, I'm not saying you guys look gross. But let's be real here. We ain't getting better looking as we age. Everybody stop talking about me, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Lava's a good looking dude. For sure. Hey, fat boy. How's it going, man? Misreading the signals? Yeah. Are you sure that you weren't flicking in the mirror? Hey, thanks. I appreciate that. But yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> like, certain people like different things. Like, you yeah. know... There are women who have agreed to go on a date with me. Or to, you know, do disgusting monkey loving. I don't need every girl. I just need, you know, throughout the course of my life, you know, a few. Yeah. You aren't that much younger than me. I don't feel so bad. No, I'm 34. I'm 34. I'm a man. I'm 40. Uh, but yeah, I'm 34. No, I'm not young. My body is covered in thick fur. I have a lot of hair growing out of my ears. After the stream, I usually pull out like three or four. It's very satisfying. It's one of my favorite pastimes.
Why don't you play Rats on Empty Board? Yeah, if all your cards cost 7. I don't mind it. Maybe he's got two rats. And he's like, I'm gonna rat into rat. And then I'm gonna take this rat and red beard down. Does this card always hit the minion that doesn't have rush? I, I thought it didn't work that way. Am I wrong? I thought the card did not work that way. I must be mistaken. Because everybody always gets rush on the minion that can't. Did they change it? Maybe they changed it. Like it makes sense that that would work that way, but I kind of distinctly remember that not being the case initially. It's gonna take one more damage next turn. Okay, it's only gonna take one, right? So we actually didn't have lethal. That was it's the worst card for me. I thought it could hit any minion, but it, it like two or three in a row just hit whatever minion could not have attacked without getting rush. I'm 45 and a queen, you're wonderful. 34 is a beautiful age. I'm 24 and I'm a princess. We got a lot of a lot of uh a lot of regal regal chatters. Show your thick fur, Redbeard. No, I can't do that. 35 and nearly dead. <laughs> Donnie and I are definitely closer to being dead than alive. Well, we're alive, but you know. We're definitely closer to the end of our lives than the beginning of our lives. Surprise, well he's at one at best. So, I, I don't really, you know, depending on what's in his hand. And we would only have to find one damage in the rest of the game, drawing two cards. We actually didn't have a lot of damage left though. Like, maybe nothing. Oh, we had an Abyssal left, that was it. I'm 73 and I'm a peasant. Something need to Into the rags and richest meta. I, uh, I don't know. My deck's kind of felt like poo. Unless I can get the spawns. But hey, I'll take it. Eight wins is really cool. Play a one and a three. It's not terrible. I'm 2832 and I just exist, good lord. That's incredible. I'm 26. I'm 34 and a toad. Smelly's a 3,000 year old. <laughs> Shadow Spirit. <laughs> Blitz is so cute. Blitz is so gosh dang cute. It really... It really sickens me. Have a wonderful rest of your night at work, you goonie. Hey, Sly. Goodbye, Sly. Have you been here all night? That's your first message? Hope you had a better day than yesterday. I remember you said yesterday sucked. I hope today is better. Job. I do. What am I gonna be over here hoping it's worse? Everybody say your age. If you're 69, you win. How old is my mom? My dad might be 69. I don't know how old my dad is. I'm 34. My mom's 67. I think my dad's 69. Or he's turning 69. Wagwan, hey Roldy. Imagine being 69. I think there would be pros and cons to being 69. You'd be retired, you could enjoy all your time, you know, in your leisure. You could, I'm sure also, you know, your bones probably hurt. But I, my bones already hurt. When I talk to my mom though, sometimes about getting older, she's like, oh, well, it's just gonna get worse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a good point. My sister too, my, I was talking to my sister a little while ago and she's like, 
She's like, oh, you know, this is the best you'll ever, you'll probably ever feel it. You know, you're gonna feel worse <laughs> every day. I'm like, oh, that's a good point. That's uh, you know, kind of suboptimal when you when you put it that way. Freaking Hecaru, dude! Come on. I should have played the two first. Oh my god, and I could have found a bunker. And then I could have tapped. I could have got the bunker. Oh, maybe that's a mistake. Uh, bad game. This game might be bad. I mean, we're not gonna win many more games, I'm sure. Uh Rend. Thank you, Rend, for the for the follow. But I mean, we I think we high rolled with this deck results. I don't think this is an eight win deck, so I'm pretty cool with that. I'll take it. I don't want to age anymore. <laughs> yeah, aging stinks. It's way better to be young and hot than this to be old and fart. Whenever this chat is talking about sexual stuff, Red is all of his apropos. Is all of his apropos. What are these words? It's pretty salt. Yeah, I'll take eight out of any deck, really. But a deck that I think is probably like a five or six win deck, by all means, bring it on. Bring on the eight win decks, I say. You improve your diet and exercise, I think you feel better as you age? Yeah, that's probably true. But let's be honest, is that gonna happen? Probably not. What's the question exactly, sir? What is being discussed here? Uh, let's play this turn and this goober and make that trade. Pretty good. The issue is the warriors that are at eight wins at some point are just gonna drop, you know, the, the eight drop or an outrider's axe and they're just gonna outpace you. We're not really, like he's at 32. We're not out outvaluing him. I clicked the link and I still don't understand. Yeah, me neither. Red is all of his concerning. Red is very appropriate to his particular situation. I, I'm not really sure what. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, maybe we do outvalue him. Maybe he just plays crap. Frick. Um, hmm. That is a quite good draw. Let's tap once. And then I guess we're hoping to discard this guy. Not that one, though. I'm gonna see Queenie's Link. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. I looked at it. <laughs> I won't go down without a fight. I'm pretending that I didn't click that link. <laughs> I could lie. I could lie. How good would a siphon be here? Siphon that, trade that. That'd be good. Be pretty dang good. Is this what I want to do? I actually don't know what I want to do. Um, I go to one, then I'm going to lose this guy, and he's going to keep that. Uh, none of this is good. I've learned to never click Queenie's Link. Smart man. Three. I don't know. I have another mech. No mechs, right? I mean, at some point we need to like kill him, right? I don't know. We bring his HP down. Don't have a lot of cards left in my deck that have that will have an impact on this game. 
I suppose if he has two or three worthless draws in a row, maybe we can just win with what, what we currently have. Security guards pull that on me every day. Damn, can't even avoid it when you when you're off work. You love my I'm okay with that. Um, what do we want here? Yeah, it's probably fine. Hi, Red. What's up, cool alloy? Good to see you, man. I think everybody can agree that virus porn was always worth it, oh, of course. Has piling this deck been fun? I don't think this has been a particularly fun deck, no. It has got good results, and I'd rather take a deck that's not super fun to good results. Those are a lot easier to, uh, to take, right? It's like, I don't want to do well. I could trade it. Maybe I can get another card down this turn. Do you have an audience with the king? I could final gasp this. Mm, probably wrong. Also, I'd rather have the other card now. This will not do us much good, probably. Interesting. I'm setting for finals. How are you? I'm doing okay. Just here playing Hearthstone Arena in my underwear. That is a good card, except I am almost out of spell. Uh, six, there's not a huge difference in six. Like, we're dead to Alex either way. This could be the difference between picking up a, um... Like a silence in time to kill him, maybe? Oh. Hmm, that's fine. Wait, a silence will kill him, right? Is he just dead? So I ping him, I trade, he goes up to 15. Now I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? Something like that. Trespass be gone. Taking this dinker of a shaman a three and one feels good? Hell yeah, man. Those runs do feel really good when you uh Overperform. Yeah, pretty good. Did not think that he would have three or four dead draws in a row. He sort of did. He sort of did. He just drew a hit it very hard, which which is a one mana take six and remove our guy. Wasn't a Goliath or a Colossal. This is what a 12-win deck looks like. Oh, our deck is not a 12-win deck. We may get 12 wins, but it's not a 12-win deck. When are you going to play the quarry? Uh, probably never. Is that a, what, is it a video game? I was watching. I like popped in on someone playing the quarry. I, I thought it was a movie or something. What happened to Pierce? I always feel like when Pierce is here, you know, I can bond with him over our stinky armpits and our streaming habits. GG, I thought we did pretty well there. Bad game? That wasn't a bad game, was it? Kinda good. Should have bought some Pokemon cards. <laughs> Could have. I don't know, you can't really spend $40 every day on Pokemon cards, or like 20 Unless you're dreads level rich. Good evening, lads. Hey, Umi. Have you been here all day, or...? Sometimes the, uh, the days sort of blend into one another for me. I don't know what day is what. Stormwind will tremble before Tamsin roam. How to compete with Warlock when a game goes long like that? I think it's easy if you're a, an average warrior in this meta. Card quality is just really, really high. Wasn't here for two months. Is the face in the upper left corner your brother? You were here like two days ago. Your last message was two days ago. You know it's dreads. You sound like my girlfriend. What did I say? Also, I'm sorry for you. She sounds sounds like she has a terrible voice. 
That doesn't, that's not good. always do well except with bloodlust. Yeah, I could uh, I got a thing or two to learn about playing with bloodlust. Gosh dang it, that would have been nice. That would have been preferable. Do I ever get to play a gorilla bot into a gorilla bot or do I have to wait till turn six? I don't know. Can't spend all my money on Pokemon cards. She's the worst. She spends her money or your money? It'd be great to like have a oh, blessing. Yeah, like, uh, and he's not trading. That seems erroneous. Um, I kind of want to play this now, though. Probably gonna go face again, right? Because why? Why go? Why trade? But uh, yeah, it'd be nice to be dating somebody and you just use their money <laughs> to buy a Pokemon card. Great system. I could play this. What do I take? That's a good card. I don't have a dragon. I mean, we might have to just like YOLO it next turn. I don't know. Hey, Miggle. Miggle? Hell is that pot friend? What is that? You love my new uh, is that that bad? I'll just infestation here, probably. Catch back up a little bit. Can't kill that, which is kind of kind of lame, but we get some minions on the board. Um, maybe set up a better spawn. It's an emote of pot waving. Hello, what is it from though? Is it like a, from a video game? Looks like a banjo kazooie character or some. Also, how come I can't? How come I can't post it? Oh, I can. Good. It's funny how Noitron went back to a 1-2. Yeah, buffs are kind of weird. Oh, you mean because it flipped and got traded? Yeah. Things destined to be a 1-2. What's from that shit where you climb into space? I feel like you might be high. <laughs> you may be high. Looks like Elden Ring's pots, but I know it existed long before Elden Ring. I need you to get to the bottom of this mystery. Figure out where that came from. The Queen's one shot, one I can't seem to figure anything out in my search. Uh, he just played an awful lot of crap here. I don't really want to... ...cast this to trade off my own board. I quit three days ago, Elden Ring? Or you quit your job? Look at our draw. We drew our only six, both of our sevens, and our only eight. This turn, we had them all by turn six. It's actually kind of good now to have access to uh, could still be auto defense matrix, which is kind of annoying. Could just play this. What do I pull? I pull a Siphon and I get a 5? That's pretty good. This is nice if... But if it's Avenge, it's like I'm actually adding power to the board. Reckoning? Okay. Sure. 
Found a tweet from Twitch is actually a pop from Elden Ring. Oh, cool. I don't know if I believe you, but I kind of do. If that was rather easy to find the mystery of the pot or whatever. Why would you lie? What would you have to gain from it? Uh, so what do I want to siphon? Nothing? Still can't do this. Play this. Let's trade this thing. It doesn't really do us any good. Okay, so we can play a couple of cards now. Annoyos are quite annoying. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Um, could siphon that guy. Play that. It's nothing to free trade into. What if I play this? It seems terrible. If I play this, I'm almost dead. So these are probably out. Trade there. Take the one in three. If you hit there, it allows you to trade quite well. Hit one of those, he's just sitting on that. That's not the worst. I'm not getting any younger. I guess I should hit this one, huh? Um, because I don't want him to be able to take this trade. But I kind of like killing the mech more than the fish. It's like the one too, like a Chad. It does open up you to make better trades. No. Stop it, Anoyos. Stop it, please. Um, this is good now. I don't know if I do it though. Kills basically everything. It leaves this up and he'll be able to go here for free. Maybe I should have not pre-hit there. Gosh. Okay, this is just... This is hard. Not getting any younger. So many divine shields, <laughs> they're so annoying. I should just deal four to the board. I don't want to discard that, but I think maybe playing those two might just be the best play for us here. But then he keeps that. That can't be good, right? Um, but I don't want to tap. I guess I can tap once. Alright, we'll tap. Hmm. What do I want? Like a final gasp? Maybe? No. Pelican Diver? Alright, whatever. Here, have this. I'm at seven. I could just be dead here, huh? I don't want to buff this. How about three? So you can actually get them both down. That's very good for him. That's very good for him as well. But we can get a taunt up. So let's get this down now. Let's just kill one. Maybe we just hit here. Yeah, let's let's play the long game maybe. Pelon usually don't get any direct damage. Um, well, they could add Blessing, True Silver, Dragon Queen, uh, or uh, an Alexstrasza. There's a lot of ways. Weapons, right? We didn't have a taunt up. Soul Infusion. Um, I wouldn't mind keeping it. Like, discarding this could be okay. This is a very good Stormwind champ. Is he dead? 12, 15. 18, 19, 12, 14. Oh my god, I should have played this first. Oh, that was dumb. 7, 14, 18, 19. God damn it. I deserve. I don't deserve this shabby treatment. It's <laughs> the second time we did that this one. Cabal first? Yeah, that would have been better. Come on, we never lose a 1 in 4. Wow, 10 wins. You'd love to see it. Never punished? I just like to keep it interesting. It gets boring making the best play so often, all the time. Wanna play? Ready? Um, yeah, let's play. 
Is this you? <laughs> it's fast, fast uh, Q. Tamsin versus Jaina. You asked for it. Stormwind will tremble before Tamsin. Oops, Rome. too slow. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe next one. Battle of the Titans. I'm gonna go check on our YouTube video right now, see how it's performing while this guy takes you know his time figuring out his mulligan. Let's see. Wow, almost 2,000 views on every video we've put up this week. That's cool. If anybody wants to check out the YouTube, it helps, you know, I don't know, helps us out a little bit. Pretty cool. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up, Redbeard. You can even go over there and type that if you want. <laughs> uh. And sometimes oh, there's the analytics. Yeah. Wow, this video's got 2,000 views exactly. Time runs out on me. Interesting. It's fun to have YouTube videos up. As you're taking time on your mulligan, fine, Red, I'll watch your damn YouTube because I love you so damn much. Come on. You know I care about you. You know I care about you deeply as well. Sorry, Squishy, I'm working. Just checking real quick to see if this person arrived in the stream after their long, long mulligan. Can't go round. Gotta go Maybe not. Let's see, what do I take? Shit. This is a good removal spell, but if we don't get a play- Well, I have a lot of fives. Let's take the removal spell. And, uh, feel really bad if somehow we draw three more cards and don't get a play for turn five. We know one of them's on the bottom, so a little less likely, but... We have another gold road, a lion's guard, a bartender, two spawns. The Priest Death Battle deck make it up there yet? I didn't check. Um, no, but... Oh, no, it's not actually even queued up yet. So, usually what Mr. Refuge Geek will do is on the weekends, or like at his leisure, he'll queue up like six or seven of them and then upload them all, and then schedule them so YouTube releases them automatically. So, I would imagine it would be in the next batch. We only have two more queued up. Or three. Two or three, I'm not sure. Dredging seems really good in Arena. Yeah, it's definitely strong. I actually didn't really think about it much, but I, I really liked... Um, I really liked... Uh, Cole sent Dishwater Sponge's suggestion for Dredge to make it so it's optional to put the card on top. I think that's really cool. I know he has the two um, um, things. It's just like, I don't want to give this up for nothing, especially while he has those. I don't want to get no buff. So at least this turn, ideally, it stops him from playing like a good four drop. So... He can't play like a 4 mana 5 7 this turn if he wants to kill the 4 1. It's a little harder on his mana while he's, well, he's only got 4. It's that time again. Time for that idiot llama guy to go to sleep. I don't think you're an idiot. I do think you're a llama though. Um, uh, Macaroon, Draco uh, uh, Drynoris, thank you guys for the follows as well. It's been a little bit slower of a start. The first couple decks were kind of bad. Just kind of like put a damper on the uh, stream start. But I think things have kind of picked up. This deck's pretty good. A couple of new people following, some people subscribe maybe. Helps me out somewhat. 
You know, we have secret. Good tap. I mean, this just doesn't feel like a Deathwing turn, right? right let's play this bird brained idiot. Uh, Clonkers. Clonkers? Thanks for the follow, Clonkers. It. I've got it. How have the runs been today? Um, this is the first deck we've had that had any success, but I don't think we had any um good decks necessarily. That's okay. That's uh, I wouldn't mind having that, I guess. It's fine. Some of our most important cards are our other spawn, our abyssal, our primordial protector. Those are kind of important. Waiting for 510 Irish woman. I know she's out there. She's probably in Ireland though, no? I would I would investigate Ireland. You should go on a pilgrimage to Ireland. A tap again? That's a good card for next turn. Um, maybe there's something better than this out there. Mm, no, not really. That's why you make big bucks, ready boy. So I'm going to move to Ireland in a couple, for a couple of years. Not to find a girl, but to explore. Half of my family is from there. Uh, are you allowed to just move to Ireland and live there? Bad draws for Primordial? Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that could have been better actually. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a counter spell. It's probably not. It could be Oasis. And then we'll trigger it with this. Oh god, is that my last spell? No, it's my second to last spell though. That's crazy. Um, I guess we can test it, huh? Maybe that's a great spell. Not this day. Let's wreak some havoc. Alright, maybe that was the best draw in our deck. Why not? I don't know. Don't you have to like apply it for citizenship when you move places and provide some value to the economy. As somebody that does neither of those things, I imagine no country would want me. <laughs> I would imagine. We could silence that. It's a pretty good silence here. Kinda gotta silence the uh Raid boss, so we can siphon it. These waters kill life. Mm. Not I don't hate delaying this thing's effect. My son refuses to watch Morbius for the 34th time with me. Need advice. I tried to take him with me to the theater last night thinking he will get back to his senses, but he yelled saying he was bored. He even said it wasn't as good as Spider-Man and later clarified, I was slightly better than Batman though. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> um, yeah, you might want to get a new son. What choice do you really have? I want to silence that, I think it's worth it. Voices, please. These spells can be flippin' annoying. In general, it is much harder to emigrate to first world countries than you'd think. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? Can't sound right, boss, while being immune. No, I would have to unimmunify it though. Which was also part of my plan. Did I not mention that? Unimmunify? This guy's got a really crappy deck for having 10 wins. And I'm proud of them for getting those wins. But I'm also happier for me. For potentially for, for potentially killing him. What's he gonna do? Flame strike me? That would be crap. He's got to have like two two colossals in his deck that he just didn't draw. If you're American, you could probably move here and live for ages. Getting a job would require a visa, though. Nobody wants a job, ain't nobody got time for that. I 
I can't believe he's at 11. But we are an expert player. And uh, that's probably, it probably helps. All right, let's try to get one more stinking win. We have two two drops. I don't know how we got 11. Final boss, let's go. The trick is we just have to bitch and moan and whine. Thompson. Somebody's following me on Twitter. Can I, uh, turn off notifications? Turn off notifications. Apply. Good gracious, come on. Um, yeah, sure, we won't keep an 8. Every basically transforms into dreads. Is that right? Kind of hard because his head doesn't move. I greet you. Well, well. So <laughs> anyway. Yeah, just a handsome man. I agree. Red. I was sleeping and I just woke to see Ted 12 wins. Hey, what's up, Alex? How are you, man? Minus 400 viewers. <laughs> yeah, people do despise looking at dreads. That's true. I'm with you. Also, Ted would be a kind of a good nickname for me, no? Ted Beard? Ted? Ted Word? Crazy start. Maybe they just can see that I bought this. Let's hope. <laughs> Let's hope. Play some crap. So let me have a free win. This 12 win warlock played a voodoo doctor on one and an evasive chimera. And I'm, I'm not saying they did anything wrong. That was just kind of crazy. The bunkers, a good card there. It's not great though. It'd be nice to, you know, give them a little wacky, wacky poo, but. We could have another bunker, but I just want to put this pressure on him. I, I just don't think our deck really wants to allow this guy to like tap and have a lot of flexibility with what he's doing. Pally, Warlock, or Priest? Uh, Warlock, for sure. Mm, hopefully it hits a 3-1. Darn it. That kind of stinks. So we go face here. I've got a Soul Rend, so I definitely tap. Oh wow, that's pretty good. That's a nice clear, but I don't like that we're not pushing any pressure, putting any pressure on him. Well, I can just make this deck and you're guaranteed to get 11 wins. Is that how that works? Do you <laughs> amused um tap I could just play two threes maybe feels kind of bad but it's not he's not as low as as it seemed a moment ago right he's back up to 21 20 
too much removal and not enough proactive like minions we can develop. I think we'd average six to seven wins for most players. I think probably less for most players. Um, and I think for me, we wouldn't, we would not, I would not expect to go you know, twelve or whatever, or eleven very often. Red beard, your beard looks beautiful today. Thanks, man. It, it's a little long, so it's starting to look a little more red. I've noticed. I took a picture of my beard the other day. Man, that sucker looks really red off camera, like with real lighting. Kind of looks like dog poop brown on cam, but it was very vibrantly red with a lot of light. That's okay. That's okay. This actually might help the infestation. I don't really want to... want to do it now or do I? Maybe I just want to do it right now. A lot of stats on the board. I would average 45 wins for Redbeard half the time. Maybe. A lot of power. It kind of puts some, some, like, you just have to have a certain type of card here. So spawn doesn't work, but a abyssal or a hellfire will, or whatever, but that's fine. Infestation is so good and I love it. I, I think it's a, an awkward card, but in spots like that, and uh, you know, we had another turn earlier where it kind of like was the nuts. Um, not the nuts, but it killed three or four things against a paladin. Um, it's it's insane when it works, but it's just sometimes it's awkward. I think it's a pretty well designed card. Like if it costs five, it would be broken. But since it costs six, a lot of times you can't combo it with other cards. Like we missed a tap, which is, you know, actually relevant. We just need a dragon. Oh no, we have lethal. Three, six, eight, ten, twelve. Wild. Twelve and one. This deck lost one game. Nuts. Twelve with this deck is incredible. Yeah, wild one. It, it, again, it had the top end, right? Like, or, or, or it had the top quality cards. Some of them, but we had two two drops, 403 drops. I, I think that this is one of the weaker 12s we've had in a in a very long time. Probably like several weeks or months, maybe. But I'll take it. 12 is better than um, all gold. You love to see it. 12 is better than 11. I've always said that.